Welcome back. So what did you notice from answering these questions? Are there dimensions of your life you want to pay more attention to? As we sit with our answers, I like to invite us to think about ways of visualizing these responses. Writing and journaling is one way of building an archive for our embodied experiences. What could a visual language for our archive look like? We can create our own data visualizations like the circle and the resilience journal, but I've also found it, it can be quite fun to use photo and video archives to create collages of my embodied experiences. Incorporating dance or movement, daily walks around the city, different moments that bring me care or joy or grounding. I also collect different images from the internet or from movies or TV shows that I resonate with in each moment. Here's an example of a desktop collage I made using some of the videos and photos from my archive, visualizing different rituals of care. So in this collage, we see a collection of different images I took over the past week, uh, a video of me dancing in front of a sunset, a beautiful sunset with some ocean waves glistening with golden light, some golden hour lighting on my doorway, a egg tart from Chinatown, a mural from Chinatown, a wrist that says peace and love in Chinese characters, and a grassy lawn at my neighborhood park, and some text that reads finding the sun, renewal, opening, and closing. So now it's your turn. Take the next 20 minutes to gather your collage materials. You can use your responses from the previous writing exercise as a jumping off point. So if you don't really know what to do first, here are some suggestions. Um, a photo of an object related to your soft data, a video of a view outside your window, a video of something you did this past weekend that you're still thinking about, a photo of something that brings you care, or even images from the internet or memes that apply to your soft data archive. 